Hi guys, good to be back. It feels like it's been, um, yeah, um, quite a while and um, just want to start by saying my last um, wee clap was my new Nue clap and I apologise that the that the footage didn't come out from my snorkeling which was very disappointing but needless to say um, yeah it was um, it was a real highlight for me like like I said last time um, yeah just wanting to do this particular catch-up clip um, after a um, challenging week to say the least I um, oh okay so 15th 15th May I had um, my amputation so yeah about six and a half months down the track now um, this week's been particularly challenging um, because I had um, a couple of days um, which I wasn't able to walk on my prosthesis. I've had a, um, a fungal infection at the end of my stump, which has been very uncomfortable. And besides that, I'm due for um, to have a new mould done, and um, which a lot of you guys would know um, all about. I think really um, for me I always like to be making progress and when that's interrupted like it was this week and my mobility was stripped from me for um, for a couple of days um, and even the rest of the week I sort of from one day to the next I didn't really know if I was um, yeah gonna be in my chair or um, able, be able to walk um, that's been yeah I have found that very very difficult and I just wanna wanted to share that um, this morning at church um, the sermon was about being stretched <laughs> and I just feel for me personally th this week God's really reminded me that the stretching isn't just about what I do and the things I I say yes to and The stretching for me this week has really been been about, been about just um, trusting God no matter no matter what, and it's been a reminder not to not to settle for whatever comes my way, but. But just sometimes, sometimes the the stretching is is just about allowing him to to fill you with the peace that you need at the time, just to see you through. And oh my goodness. After um, after a few days of not being um, very mobile at all, when um, when I was able to walk on my leg, I just appreciated it so much and felt so so thankful. And so yeah. Um, maybe.
maybe it's just the reminder I needed to be dependent on him and to not get so busy with life that it becomes about more about my, my strength, not his. So, yep, that's been my week and um, I could probably show you my leg, it is looking a lot better now. Excuse my um, husband, got a couple of workers in the background just finishing my shower, which is another huge blessing um, that I'm going to have a shower that I can use at home. So I'm just taking this off now. Oh, you can see it is it is looking a lot better at the end there. It's been very um dry and inflamed. So um so yeah, really pleased. Actually, probably needs to just be yeah, a little bit weepy, probably needs just a bit of with a fresh air at the moment. So yeah, so um, off to the limb centre this week to um, have a new mould done and looking forward to that. And I will, I know they say this every time, but I will not leave it so long to do a next, um, a next wee update. And, um, and yeah, it's been, um, yeah of an emotional week but um but I just um praise God and um and just thank him for um for just being there and um and reminding me that he is all I need. He has an endless supply um, and yeah just bless you guys um, take care oh really want to give a shout out to Chloe if she sees this clap um, amazing young woman that I met in Newey 19 years old just absolutely gorgeous um, has challenges way beyond what I could possibly imagine and I just admire her so much um, she lights up um, yeah everywhere she goes um, she's such a blessing to all those who meet her so um, yeah shout out to um, Chloe in Queenstown and um, bye for now and I will speak to you soon bye